You guys do know that I, I recently moved from, I mean, South Africa to Ghana. And there were a bit of challenges that I experienced along, I mean, the, 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 the bookings and all the, the trip sites. So when I was coming, I used a flight which um, is South Africa Airways. I'm sure most of you do know this airline. So the reason why I went for this particular airline is because I didn't want to sit in a flight that's going to take me, I mean, <laughs> hours because most of the flight that i saw online were saying 12 hours 13 hours man some were even saying 14 hours and it's crazy i don't even know which country they're gonna take me first but normally what they do is when you book a flight let's say ethiopia air it takes you to their country first before your destination they don't just take you direct so that's called the transit so because of that i made a choice of choosing south africa airways because south africa goes all the way, I mean, from it's it flies from South Africa straight to Ghana without any transit or any, I mean, problems. So I decided to go for that, even though it was a bit out of my budget, but I tried. So here is the problem, okay? Before you book with South African airline, maybe it would be best you take note of these challenges. Everything was smooth. I mean, it was quite easy. You just log on to their website, put in the dates, and then it will show you the available flights and all that, the prices. So I chose... And then when I chose it, I didn't want to use the bank card because of few reasons. Let me just, let me not go into that. So um, I booked it and then whilst I was booking the trip, it's asked, I mean, the payment method that I want to use. So do I want to use a card? Do I want to do EFT or do I want to pay at the stores? So when they say you want to pay at the stores, they give you choices between um, Akamans, Pick and Pay and a few other shops. So I made the bookings, they gave me the reference, everything was, I mean, in order. I roamed the whole of South Africa. Um, they said the network had an issue, so I actually went the next day to make the payment. And it was crazy. I mean, I didn't even expect this type of experience, especially from South Africa, I mean, SAA, South African Airline. So when I got to the, the till the next day, they took the reference. I mean, um, the, there's a reference that will give you when you make the, I mean, the bookings. So I went there, they asked for my reference, I gave it to them, and then they were like, oh, Mr. Bismarck, I'm like, sure, that's it. You know the craziest part? Okay, so when I was booking on the airline app, it told me that I'm going to pay an amount of 5,900 and something. So I was thinking, okay, fine, I'll have a bit of change to, I mean, put in my pocket. And it was, I mean, I, I was okay with the amount, and I knew what I was going to pay when I was heading to the shop. When I got to Akamas, they were like, okay, so the total amount is 6,100 and almost to 6.2 i'm like whoa whoa relax but it stated clearly on i mean you can see the screenshot that 5900 and this amount so why are you telling me this point she's like no my system is saying 6000 what what i'm like but what is happening aren't the south african airline communicating with their payout partners or i don't know what is happening so this is crazy because now assuming i had a limited budget and i was focusing that okay no this is what South African Airlines gave me, and this is the amount that I'm going to pay at the till. You get there, and then you start to experience another <laughs> crazy prices. I don't, I don't know where that charges is from, but I'm also thinking maybe that is the price uh, or that particular cost goes to the shops. I don't know. I, I don't. I, I'm really not sure where this amount came from, and I cannot go to SAA. I mean, send send an email to SAA saying, hey. Um, I've been charged this amount because of so, so and so. Well, it's not a big amount though, I know, but sometimes we put budgets in place to, I mean, let's, ask, let's just assume that I, I had limited budget and I said, okay, this is what I have, so this is the, which means I was going to lose that flight. Anytime you are booking a flight, especially with, I'm not sure about other airlines, but if you are booking with South African Airways, I think maybe it's best you do an EFT payment or use your card or bank transfer, something like that. I guess it will give you the estimated amount. But if you are paying in shops like Akamas, Pick and Pay or whatsoever shop, the price that they give you from, I mean, SAA or the price that they ask you to pay will not be the exact amount that you will pay. They will definitely be an extra amount, whether 100 or 200, just bear that in mind that this would be an additional cost that you have to pay. So this is my personal experience. This is what I went through and that is what I have for today. If you are new on the channel, click on the subscribe button, like this video as well. Support the channel. We're growing and I really appreciate your support. If you have any questions based on this airline, I mean, <laughs> problems, well, I don't know much, but the little I know, I will definitely put it on the channel. Thank you very much for coming. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.